like I just got back from vacation uh, about a few weeks ago. I have a, uh, well actually he's my best friend, he's like a brother to me. He, uh, him and his wife were blessed with winning the lottery and uh, he was able to uh, take us out to uh, Hawaii, Maui, and uh, we had a really great time. Uh, and, uh, you know, him winning that, you know, like I said, it's pretty much a blessing. It couldn't happen to a better guy. George 214, can you copy TV? Go ahead. Gonna be at the Yuma. Sorry, get back in your car and close the door. I'm clear on Yuma. This, uh, truck right here was uh, pulled over to the side of a known narcotic house we've been having a lot of problems with. Pulled away from the curb, didn't use a turn signal. The female was not wearing her seatbelt, so she was probably out of the vehicle. We're going to have a talk with them. Good afternoon, sir. Can I see your driver's license yes, and proof of insurance, yes, sir. please? I'm trying to dig it out for you here. That right there. Ma'am, do me a favor. Can you step out of the truck, please? Ma'am, do me a favor. Why don't you stand over there for me, okay? How do you know this lady here, sir? I've known her for a long time. I've known Doreen. Ma'am, over there. I asked you to stand over there. I've known Doreen for a long time. Oh, have you? Uh, she lived down on Arlington Street. She lives on Arlington Street? No, this was, I mean, years ago. Years. You live in Halton City, is that correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What brings you over here? Well, I just, you know, right. now, let me explain something to you. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to insult you by lying. To you. Okay. So what were you doing? We were over here looking. Looking for what? We were looking for drugs. I can't hear you. We were looking for drugs. What kind of drugs were you looking for? Uh, marijuana. Marijuana? I don't think they sell marijuana at that house you just pulled out of. You sure we're looking for something else? No. Like I said, if you're honest with me, I can be lenient. I mean, uh, Ma'am, I'm talking to him. I'll give you your turn in a second, okay? How long have you been with her today? Uh, Keep in mind, I'm going to ask her the same yeah, questions I'm asking much, you. Uh, several hours. Several hours? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is she a prostitute? Uh, probably, yeah. Probably? I, mean, I, I don't, I don't trick with really. her. I don't Excuse do me? That. I'm going to ask her the same thing now. You ask her, I don't, I don't, I don't do that. What, she just buy you dope for you or what? Well, every once in a while, yes, sir. What's that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, every once in a while? Yeah. Would I have your consent to look inside your vehicle? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Would you? Would you mind stepping out, oh, mister? <clears throat> I want you to do me a favor. I want you to stand right here while I interview her. And keep your hands where I can see them, okay? Yes, sir. So what's going on this evening? I came, uh, came over to buy, buy something, but they wouldn't sell me nothing because it's a white boy. What'd you come over here to buy? Some crack. Some crack? Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't they sell it to you? Because I was with a white boy. Because you were with what? A white boy. A white boy? Yeah. Is that he what they that told I, you? Yeah, that's what they told me. They said, no, baby, baby, we don't, we don't, we don't know him. We don't know if he's the police or not. Are you a prostitute? You are? Like what were your intentions with uh, this gentleman over here? Nothing. He's just a fool. <laughs> What's that? He's just a friend. He's, he's just not, a friend? Yes, okay, he's you're not a John. He's okay, not he's, a John. Telling, he's telling me you are a prostitute, probably. You're telling me that you are a prostitute. Yes, sir. You're in his truck. You've been with him for three hours, and you just told me you were there to buy dope for him down the street. I didn't say I was there to buy dope for him. I went down there to buy dope for me. Oh, buy dope for yes, you. Yes, sir. I apologize. Okay. okay. <laughs> and uh, you're telling me that you're not, you weren't going to pull a trick for him, is that right? No. Pull smoke crack, too. He's not a trick. Okay, uh, He's not a trick. Hold on to what I've got right now. <laughs> Is there anything on your person I need no. to know about? No, sir. Nothing in your pockets no. or anything like that? No, sir. Wait, 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 I want you to stand right there for me, all right? <clears throat> Give me a favor and stand over here where I can see you. Give me a favor. Okay. Stand with him over there while I search this truck. <clears throat> the uh, female told us that she was over there trying to buy some crack cocaine. And, uh, this is what they use to uh, filter the uh, crack cocaine. They stick this inside the uh, glass pipe, then they put the crack cocaine in there, and they use this uh, push rod to push in the Brillo here. Uh, they use this as a filter. So, uh, then again, might be a good chance we might be able to find some uh, crack cocaine in here. Is this your blue bag? No, sir. Who's it belong to? Uh, I 
You don't know who it belongs to? Did you not tell me this was your truck? No, sir, it's my truck, but I don't know who it is. Your truck and this bag. It's in your truck, right? Yes, sir. And you don't know who it belongs to? Somebody put it in there down Somebody put it in there. So it would be okay to open it up? I didn't, I didn't even look at the bag, officer. Uh-huh. Go ahead. Got somebody's ID in here. Feel it. Well, you got all kinds of IDs in here. Social security cards, driver licenses, three different people. Well, it's not, this is your yeah. truck. Yes, sir. It was in my truck. I agree with that. George, that thing go ahead. I didn't put it in there. And I'd take it down there. Somebody will claim it. Coming You know, it's, your story's kind of, you know, still kind of confusing, man. You've got you know, all different kinds of IDs back there. I swear to You're God. driving around with a prostitute. You don't. You know who put it in there telling me because I don't. You know, and, um, I you know, you're with, the prosti you're with the known prostitute. Yes, you told me she was. Yes, sir. She said she's a prostitute. Yes, sir. But I don't, I don't do that. Really. Well, you got to understand where I'm coming from. Oh, yeah, With I the understand. totality of the circumstances sure. of what's going on. Sure, I understand. Okay? Yeah. I'm going to issue a citation for criminal intent prostitution. Oh, it's man. like a custodial arrest is what it is. You understand? And, ma'am, I'm going to give you a ticket for manifestation of prostitution. You understand? But I don't, I don't do nothing with it. Sir, if you have any questions, you can set it for court, and we'll deal with it then, okay? Right. I want you both to go ahead and have a seat in there and I'll issue you those citations, all right? Yes, sir. And uh, don't be coming back up here trying to buy any more dope. You don't have to worry. You understand? You will never see me up here again. All right, I go ahead and have a seat. She's a prostitute, and she was attempting to buy dope also, but they wouldn't sell her any dope because she was with the white guy, and they thought he might have been a police officer undercover. So uh, he gave me consent to search, but we found a lot of drug paraphernalia in there, you know, push rods, steel wool, that kind of thing. Didn't find anything else, but... Uh, we're just going to go ahead and uh, issue those two citations to him. Right. I can say he got lucky. He's lucky he didn't buy any dope today because if he did, he would have been under arrest for possession of controlled substance.